Oi, you! Did you like the holy carp design? Well, guess what? Now we have limited edition foil designs. Comes in pink, blue, and gold foil. In all seriousness, this is to celebrate the 1 million subscriber milestone. Only available for three weeks. Cause when you're a grain, you come in like a hurricane. Hey grains, normally if I want new craft kits to review, I send out Salty Crafter into the wild to find some new ones, including crap kits. But sometimes it's important to take time for yourself. So I let Salty Crafter have time to herself. I have no idea what she does on her free time. It is a mystery to me. I just don't understand her. You know what that means? I have to do my own work. And so, shop and time with Jackie. Today we need new victims, so we're headed to Walmart. Hello Walmart, my friend. Not sponsored, but if they want to sponsor me, I'll take it. Give it. Basketball should be enough. Ermy Garrett, I totally forgot that it is maple syrup season in Canada. Ermy Garrett, these are cute. Ermy Garrett, these are cute. Oh my god, these are cute. Over here we have the Crayolas. I did try this one, it was pretty poop. This was actually pretty decent. And then we have a huge glitter DIY lab, which most of it is gonna go down the drain, so for shame, do not support anything like this. Don't buy things like this. Down the drain glitter is bad. All right, off we go. Not sponsored, not affiliated. Let's do the doing. And so with that, welcome to Cash or Trash, where we review multiple craft kits to make sure that I waste my money and you don't. For those of you asking where Sika is, she's at work. Which means there's no hit and runs. <laughs> Today we're going to be looking at three craft kits from Walmart. The first one is Smooshin's Surprise Maker Kit. I have no idea what that is, but it was $45. Yes, it costs $45. Next we have Alex Spa Donut Bath Bombs. I'm pretty excited about this one, and it costs $16. And last but not least, we have Chocolate Poop Maker. I don't even know if Walmart is aware that they had this kit, but it was also $15. Apparently it's edible, so stay tuned for seeing me eating let me know which one of the three you have the least hope on. The Smooshin's Create Your Own Toy, the Bath Bomb Kit, or the Chocolate Poo Maker. Let me know in the comment section below. Our first victim, Smooshin's Surprise Maker Kit. From the outside, this kit looks really adorable, but I have no idea what it is. That is until I watch the instructional video. So at $45, this kit is supposed to help you make a little toy that is smushy. Get it? Smushins. And the concept is you pop, squeeze, and then grow, and then you get a surprise. Kits that make you create things are definitely close to my heart. My deep, dark heart of darkness. <laughs> And for this price, you should be able to make four toys. And I have to admit, the instructional video is really clear. They really do guide you on what is the right way to do it and what is the wrong way to do it. So I will be following it very closely in case some of you who want to say, But Jackie, you're doing it wrong. The answer is no. Stop. Stop it. Following instructions. By the way, for those of you new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, I will wave a sharp pointy thing at you. Don't make me do it. With that said, time to see what we get inside. Why aren't you opening? Oh my God. So apparently there's a special way to open it, which is like this. Cause it's kind of glued on the inside. Oh my god, how am I supposed to get in here? It's like in between these things. Oh, that is dangerous. My guess is there was $45 worth of tape on this thing. 
that's what I'm sticking to. <laughs> Here's what we get inside. The egg mold stand, two egg molds. We also get four pouches of these uh, little mold maker things. We get purple, pink, pink. I swear if it's purple again, and orange. We even had the possibility of getting blue, reds, and yellows, but we didn't. That sucks. We also get stands for the toys and surprise boxes for the accessories. Well, surprise bags, mystery bags and an instructional sheet. So according to the instructions, the first thing we're going to do is snap this egg to the bottom. There we go. And then we're going to snap this into the holders. I kind of opened it because I was curious. This is what the mold looks like. And we just slide it in. That's what he's... Why are these holes not aligned? Okay, I got it. I'm pretty sure if you weren't curious like me and you just left the egg in the position it was supposed to be, you wouldn't have had this problem. But I'm a curious fella. All right, so this is the part where it gets just a, just a little nerve wracking because you have to smash this little fella over here until it pops and then you need to mix it for a maximum of five minutes. So I'm going to put a timer and hopefully keep it for three minutes. It needs to be fully mixed up. What, what the heck is this? What's going on here? You right there, buddy? All right, let's see how much smashing this takes. Get your minds out of the gut. I don't even know where to begin. How can you smash something that's looking at you like this? It's like, what's up, buddy? You want to be friends? I'm going to take my fist and smash you. So before we do the deed, I have a poem. Roses are red, violets are blue. You're absolutely adorable, but I need to smash you. Oh, it worked? Yes, it did. Oh my gosh. All right, so here we go. Kneading. Oh, I didn't put a timer. Dang it. Hang on. I got this. There. I have a three minute timer going. So they do give different techniques in order to mix it. So I'll go ahead and do all of them. By the way, as I'm kneading this, I find that some of the liquid is at the bottom, so you really have to squish all the way at the bottom to get everything. So after three minutes, I technically have two more minutes to play around. And as you can see, no swirlies, fully mixed, and it's all good. All right, so now we open this, turn it in here, twist. What's going on? Clockwise. I'm turning, I swear. Why is this so hard? Insert all the way in and then turn clockwise. Is this it? I don't know. Oh my gosh. This is all the way in. I'm really trying to go clockwise here, but it's not. What's going on? Let me troubleshoot. I don't have much time, but I'm gonna figure it out. Okay, after a lot of struggling for about a minute and a half, I finally got it. My hands are red, but it's in there. And now we need to squeeze it in. It's a pretty good toothpaste thing. I hope this is working. There's a lot of doubt in this toy, but I think it's working. Okay, so once we do this squeezing, then we just need to go in manually and squeeze again. That's as good as it gets. And now we wait four hours. All right, so here we are four hours later. All we have to do now is twist, remove, and just let it sit for overnight. 24 hours later. Here we are 24 hours later after the four hours, which is 28 hours later. And now it's time to open up and see our smushings. All right, so first things first, at least it's good news that we can't see anything move on the inside while we're tilting it. Now we need to unclip it. And this gimmicky thing, turns into your screwdriver. Before I open it, place bets. Will it be okay or will it be absolute trash? Vote in the comment section below and in the iCard section. It's not coming up. Oh, there we go. So far, this one doesn't want to come out. And right, let's try another one. Twist, pull. Right, maybe I don't need to pull them out. Let's just open it. Come on, open! Oh my god. When did you get twisty? Oh no. <gasps> don't tell me it's still gooey. No, it's still kind of really gooey. Oh no. There's air bubbles everywhere. Oh, and half the body is just not there. Okay, hang on. As you can see, I pretty much emptied the whole thing. 
here. So there really wasn't enough of this mold maker to complete the back part. Let's look at their video again and what the back part is supposed to look like. So we don't even have about a third of this creature made. And on top of that, this is what we get. For $45, this is $15 in the trash. But I'm not done. <laughs> Listen to that. This is after 28 hours and having used the whole mold maker. So not only do they not give us enough mold maker, their formula is full of air bubbles. It doesn't actually cure within 28 hours. And this toy itself requires pretty much an adult to make it. Oh, and the reviews are three and a half stars. So it really is a hit or a miss, depending on how much mold maker they give you. And for those of you who want to say, but Jakey, you probably mixed it all wrong. The answer is no, no. I kneaded it, I did the pedally thing like in their commercial, I massaged it, I practically gave it a spa day. Don't tell me that my handwork is no good. Get your mind's out of the gut. And so this Smushin's Surprise Maker Kit is 100% not fail proof, which means any small mistake costs you money, which means it goes in the trash. Next we have... Alex Spa DIY Bath Bomb Donuts. This kit looks absolutely adorable. However, wait here. Out of nine reviews, it has one star. That is abysmal. So I'm really curious if this is going to be absolute poop or if it's just misunderstood. Because sometimes we can be misunderstood. Or the salt is real. It does show everything on the inside, even in the back of the box itself. Interestingly enough, it doesn't say includes everything you need. So I'm wondering if it does include everything we need. One of the things I realized while looking at this box is that there are expiry dates. So this one expires July 2020. So make sure you check on these boxes before you buy them. All right, time to see what we get inside. What we get inside two packs of cornstarch, succinic acid or succinic acid, two baking soda, and interestingly enough, they provide us with salt. Hmm, maybe they know what's happening. We get the uh, tiny mold food coloring in blue, yellow, red. The problem with food coloring as bath bomb colorant is that it does stain your bathtub. So if you can avoid this, go for it because these are really bad for your bathtub and your skin. Glycerin, measuring spoon, confetti, that is apparently water soluble, 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 like that. And then we get chocolate fragrance. That is so weird. Usually they end up giving us something like a flower or strawberry, but chocolate? Sure, let's sniff that. And ooh, ooh, that smells really nice. It really smells like a chocolate bar. Very nice, sweet, not overbearing. I like that. Then we get these cardboardy things, which I'm not sure what they're for, but I'm guessing to put our little donuts on top while they dry. And an instructional manual. So according to the instructions, we put one bag of each of the baking soda, cornstarch, and Epsom salt into a bowl and mix it well. Once all the dry ingredients are done, we're adding 25 mils of water, five of fragrance, and five of glycerin. Then we mix that stuff. I've done my fair share of bath bombs and I've never had it look like cottage cheese before. Even though they said to add 25 mils of water, it might seem like too much, but I guess we'll find out. All right, so now is the time to do the citric acid, but this mixture is so wet. What'd you do? Why did the sharp pointy thing come out at you? Confess. This mixture is so wet. I would not be surprised if this thing activated immediately. So let's go ahead. It's really wet. I mean, look at that. Look how wet this is. We're going to give it a second attempt, but I'm telling you, Grains, this is way too wet and I did follow the instructions. So here we go. It's not even fizzing. That's weird. Or is it? It is fizzing. Listen. Let's keep going. The fizzing is getting worse. Listen. 
And it's even expanding in my hands. There's no way this is going to work. Oh, gross. Oh, gross. All right, so let's go back and look at the review on Walmart. And as you can see, nine reviews and one star. Oh, look at that. It's on clearance for $5. That's always bad news. And the biggest complaint is that someone tried it twice and it kept getting fuzzy, which means like this, cottage cheese. Yeah, there's no way this is holding. And also they say that the dye does stain. Next person, I would give it zero stars. We tried twice and it ended up being a fizzy mess. Worst product ever. The ratio is awful, which means I'm just going to throw this and start over. Actually, no, 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 no. We're gonna do it the way they asked us to do it. We're gonna do it. Hear me, geared. this is so gross. Look at that, that is gross. It's definitely activated. Since I have no hope on this thing, I'm just going to go with one color and it says to add one drop at a time. There we go. If you're doing bath bombs, please don't use food colored. It is the worst thing ever. Only do that if you really hate someone because it really does stain the bathtub. Look at that. It's like you, you can make a cake or cookies with that. Not a bath bomb. Look at that. It's slappable. There's no way this is holding its shape. Look, I'm gonna try to make a shape and we'll see if it stays in one shape and not droopy. And the answer is no, which means if I put it in the mold right now, it's just absolutely going to destroy the mold and I have to wash it anyways. And it's gonna be leaky and gross. Look at that. It's leaking off of my hand. That's how liquidy it is. Gross. At this point, I really don't want to try anymore because for anyone who bought this, if you follow the instructions already, half the kit is garbage because you end up with this gooey mess. And so even though we could tweak the recipe, the instructions are completely misleading. The kit itself doesn't work. So it means this one would go in the trash. <laughs> By the way, just to be clear, I do have a recycling bin. And now for the moment everyone's been waiting for. And when I mean everyone, it's kind of just me, but I'm hoping that you would also as well. Chocolate poop maker. I think even Walmart had no idea was in the store. What caught my attention is that, I mean, other than the fact that it says poop and chocolate, is that this whole gimmick is a toilet and a plunger. And it says includes real chocolate. No special, re no, no special refills required. And the three steps are make it, plunge it, eat it. That sounds gross, but we're gonna try it. And I love how it just says start plunging for treats. Part of me is grossed out, but I'm curious. I love how even the girl on the box is like, Wow, this is, this is how I'm starting my career for commercials and things. I really hope it all goes uphill from there, because this is a shitty job. That's the story, and I'm sticking to it. All right, let's open this thing. what we get inside a wacky toilet does it flush oh that works and it seems like we're going to be putting the chocolate in here and it's going to come out of here and what's this oh we get five poop molds is that a super poo can't even tell what kind of poo that is don't take this out of context we get a silicon plunger uh this gimmicky thing chocolate chips best before 2022 and this thing which looks like it holds something. There you go. Plunger holder? Yeah, I know my poop. All right, time to read the instructions. So, according to the instructions, we're going to be putting our chocolate chips in the container, closing it up like so, and then we're going to put it in a pot of warm water. They don't really give the temperature, so I'm going to guess enough to melt chocolate. But according to the picture, it still looks like there's steam coming out of it. So I really hope the temperature is warm enough. And now we wait eight to 10 minutes. All right, I was absolutely wrong. It does say that you're supposed to put it at 120 Fahrenheit, which is 49 Celsius. I really don't think that's warm enough. But at this point, it's a waiting game. All right, so here we are 10 minutes later. And trust me, the water was way hotter than the 120 Fahrenheit they asked for. And now we're supposed to stir it. I didn't think it would be melty. It's a little melty. I'm actually pretty impressed. It's melty, but not melty enough. 
So probably if we put it through a second round, this might work. So here is mixing number two. Let's get it in place. All right, now we put it face down and we take our trusty plunger. Let's get close for this. <laughs> I want you grains to get as close as possible to this poop action. So I'm gonna push here. Let's see. Oh, ew. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's not really going down, but I guess that'll do. Let's do another mold. This time I'm bringing you grains way closer. And here it is. Oh no. Oh, that is uncomfortably fun. Next one. It's definitely way thicker than I would have expected, but oh, we can tap it. Next poo. Need to get all the corners. And the last one. And I'm gonna tap this down. Now we put it in the freezer for another 10 minutes. While it's in the freezer, let's take it out of the toilet. Yeah, you really have to take the ring up. It's still pretty clean. It's way cleaner than I expected it to be. And is there still any more poo in here? Oh, oh, I got poo on my finger. Hmm, that's not bad. Not bad at all. All right, serious question. I'm pretty sure there's a scientific term for the hybrid of poo and chocolate, but what do we call it? Pukulit or chocopoo? Chocopoo, weirdly enough, kind of sounds like a breed of dog. So here it is, 10 minutes out of the, well, it was in the freezer for 10 minutes and now we're taking it out. So let's start with the biggest poo. Let me be very, very gentle. Oh, and interestingly enough, other than that little, those two little air bubbles seem to have held the mold pretty well. Let's find out what these mystery poos were. I can't tell what it is. Let me know in the comment section below, what is this? It kind of looks like a hamburger, but I can't really tell. And I did taste the chocolate when it was melty and it was pretty good. So let's have it in the frozen form. Still tastes pretty good. And so yeah, interestingly enough, this does work. So if you like weird and crude humor and chocolate, I would say, yeah, it's worth your cash. If you want to watch the previous Cash or Trash, check it up here. And if you want to watch a crafting video, check it out down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.